So let's take a look at how we can create the surfaces and the curves to create the surface insert and the offset. I have on this layer, for example, put down three key point arcs that roughly define the majority of those curved sides. And on this layer, for example, you can see I have those arcs then applied with a fillet. And then those five curves together selected, I created then my surface offset. So let's try a look at how this works. I can create a fillet by selecting one and then selecting the second arc. And of course it will fail because my radius is 100 if I type in two, uh, or five, or maybe six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's say eight. Eight is good. And click accept. And then we can go down to here and do the same. And seven, yeah, or maybe eight. Okay. And as I mentioned before, once you put down the fillets, try not to change or move your key point curves anymore because you could easily position those endpoints of your arcs at a place where the fillet then will break and it's very difficult to move it back so that the fillet will be per, uh, correctly calculated between the two arcs. Then after filleting it, you can select those five curves and then go to object edit and offset. The vector points inwards, so that is correct. And then I press my left mouse button and move it left and right. And for example, say, well, maybe here. That is roughly a distance I like. And then you can click offset. And that's the way how I created, for example, on this layer, my offset profiles. With this done, we can now actually make use of the outer profiles and project it on our surface. So I'm going to turn on those layers and then I go to surface edit project. I am inside front view, so I'm inside an orthographic view. And maybe let's double click it. So view is correct. I could also because I'm looking parallel the x axis or my my eye ray is basically the x axis. I could also turn on x axis if I want to. Curves on surfaces, create history, that is all okay. So now it asks me to select surfaces for example this one and say go and then it asked me to select the curves i would like to project onto it and it's really important that at this edge my curves stick over the surface so because when i click on project and let's go into a 3D view, you see that this trimming curve flows now from one surface to the edge and then it goes over the other side. And the same here. Now with this curve being projected onto the surface, we can actually go ahead and now trim the surface. So we can go to trim, select the surface 
and say discard. And now we have basically cut in the space. So how do we create now the surface offset? The surface offset, for example, should be a really nice and smooth surface that ideally, for example, does not represent any of this geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this lower part of my bottle, but instead of using the hand rail surface uh, curve, I will use just a smooth curve on the right side. So I'm going to create a new layer. And let's say I call this one offset. Let's cite this one. Let's turn on my curves. Let's go to by rail, curvature, curvature. Actually, hold on. This has to be implied, implied. Yep, so that is correct because this is now generation curve one. This is generation curve two and rail one and rail two. So there's now my surface. Okay, so that is good. This surface is actually just only a dummy surface. So I'm going to create another surface and maybe call this one dump. Because this surface I'm going later to yeah, dump on there or deposit it there. Okay, let's call this deposit. Sounds nicer. Let's use proper English. Turning on my sketch layer, turning off the shaded view, I'm going to editor canvas layer uh, and I would like this sketch because it shows me roughly how deep, for example, my surface offset should go into the bottle. Now with this surface still selected, I can go to Object Edit, Offset. And let's make sure that the arrow points inwards. That is the case. Then I can zoom in a little bit and click my left mouse button somewhere and then move it left and right and then see maybe how far I want it to be in. So maybe somewhere there. Okay, then I can press offset. And let's see what we have. So we have our outer surface. That one I am going to put on this layer. And then my magenta surface, so my offset surface, I'm going to put to here. And I'm going to hide my deposit layer because if I now turn on the surface layer, you can see basically where we are. So the surface is now inside. We can also maybe turn on symmetry and the symmetry doesn't work right now. So I have to set it correctly. I'm going to turn on my grid. Then I'm going to layers, symmetry, set plane. And I try to hit the green dotted arc, press it, and then with snapping to the grid, rotate it 90 degrees, click set. And there my surface is visible on the other side. Okay, so that is what we need because now we can go into the front view and let's turn off shaded view because now we are going to project the inner curve of our offset curve onto this part and then we trim the outside part away. So let's go to surface edit, project, 
select our offset surface, press spacebar, and then we're going to select the different curves. Of course, only those inside. And then you can press project. And then you see it creates the trim curve. So we can select the trim tool, click on our object, mark the area we would like to keep, press keep, and then as you can see, we have created our surface offset. And because I'm using the original curve, creating a surface and then offsetting that surface, my surface offset perfectly curvature wise fits basically the outer body of my bottle. So like this outer arc is offset on the surface on this one. So it's a really nice, perfect match.